Corey Ashton and this WordPress Wednesday is all about making money online. So this week we received in a question off of our Twitter account from Texas Sundown. Thanks so much, Melissa, for sending that in. We want to talk about um, building e-commerce websites on top of WordPress. Now, many of you know we are total WordPress enthusiasts, and when it comes to e-commerce, things can get a little bit tricky though when it comes to WordPress. So I want to walk you through some basic standards that you're going to have to have whenever you're planning to build an e-commerce website. All right, everyone, so really what I want to walk you through is just a couple of the detailed things that you're going to need to get kind of in order before you start to game plan out how to make your online store, all right? So uh, if you check out the blog article that I've written, I've got quite a few things here listed uh, that talk a little, bit, a little bit about WordPress, but getting started, check out this detailed list. Obviously, you're going to need a domain name. You should be able to purchase that for around 12 bucks a year, maybe less if you find a coupon code online. You're going to need hosting for a website. Every single website out there requires hosting. So it really just depends on what sort of traffic you think you're going to have, how many images you're going to be loading, how many products you think you're going to have. If it's a really heavy, heavy website, you might need to buy a little bit more on the hosting. We really recommend WP Engine. Uh, we're an affiliate of theirs. I've got the link here in the blog for you. Um, we, we, that's where we host our WordPress websites. So um, they give you great security and super great support. All they are is dedicated WordPress support. But you can obviously uh, check out other options as well online. If you are getting um, WordPress uh, support from your hosting company, check out the fact also that some of them offer a one-click install. So you can log into your hosting account, purchase a domain name, have that hosting account there, and do a one-click install where literally uh, their system will automatically build a WordPress database for you and go ahead and throw on there like 2014, the theme from WordPress, and you'd be able to log in and already kind of have that all set up. You don't have to do any sort of nerd coding that's a super cool feature that a lot of these companies have these days. A secure server license. Um, a lot of times people forget about this, but whenever you're looking to purchase or to sell something online and have people purchase from you, you're going to need to have a secure server license or an SSL. What this does is it secures that transaction that takes place whenever somebody types in a credit card, okay? So remember that this could be a fee up to like 99 bucks or more a year that you're going to have to pay for and have to have. The only loophole around this is if you're using somebody like PayPal, um, they offer their own secure server. That's if somebody leaves your website and kind of goes over, does their checkout process over here on this system, and then comes back to your website, okay? But I will tell you this, that I have seen websites go ahead and get flagged by Google warning consumers that this is an e-commerce site that has no SSL on it. So literally you could be flagged, it's not a good thing. So I would say just go ahead and put in the budget for an SSL. Either way, whether you're having them check out immediately on your website or whether they're over there on a different payment gateway. Speaking of payment gateways, that's the next thing that you need to be prepared for. I've got a quick spiel here about it. Which ones to use, we highly recommend authorize.net. But you need to check out and do your homework and figure out which one gives you the best options, the best percentages, uh, how much they keep out, out of everything, uh, how, much, how quickly you can transfer the money away from them and into your account. All of these things are things you have to think about whenever you're looking to sell something online. You also need to get together a product list. And the reason why, this might seem like a no-brainer idea, but the reason why I say this is because you're, if you're looking to work with somebody, if you're looking to hire a, a WordPress developer or a team, or even if you're not, if you're planning to do this by yourself, you really need to get, have a game plan together, how many products you have, what each product is named, what it's going to be priced at, what's the description of it, do I have product images, I mean you need to get all this stuff together and that's the next thing I'm mentioning here is the product uh, photos. Really the best thing that's going to sell your products online are those photographs. So take time, invest some money, um, don't just snap something really kind of shakily thrown together with your cell phone. Uh, iPhones these days do have really great resolution, but be sure you get a nice, clean, straight on, nice shot. Maybe you have a few different angles of the product, or maybe you show the product being worn by somebody or being in use. That always really helps uh, sell the product even more. Another thing people sometimes forget about is the fact that you're going to have to ship these products. If you're selling a product and you obviously want, want to sell those products all around the world, you want to think about how much is this particular product going to cost to ship. 
You need to go down to the UPS store, go down to the post office, go down over to FedEx and go talk to them. Put it in a box, ask how much does this weigh? You need to understand that you have to know what those rates are in order to apply them inside your website because every single product has to have the weight and the dimensions of shipping it especially if you're going to get a plug-in that allows for real-time uh, calculation. Whether you're gonna be using a UPS or Post Office or FedEx, all of those do have incredible plug-ins that you can grab and put into your website, but it, it, it absolutely requires you understanding, okay, what is it gonna take, let's see, here, what is it gonna take to ship this glass case to Kansas? How much is that gonna cost? What sort of box is it gonna be in? The, if this was my product, I have to know that before I even get started so that I can put all of that into my website, okay? Super, super important. Okay, so your next step is going to be how to choose the right theme for your website. So if you're working inside of WordPress, that's all we're talking about right now, inside of WordPress, you have the option to grab some themes out there. Some are free that actually do include WooCommerce, which is what we consider the industry standard inside of WordPress for an e-commerce plugin is WooCommerce, and I have the link uh, listed in the blog article. Um, if, if you're using WooCommerce, there are themes out there that even WooCommerce themselves uh, produce that you can purchase as well. So there's free and there's paid versions. We always uh, you know, recommend that people, if, if your budget you know, is in the $50 range, run over to themeforest.net, and I do have that link here for you, uh, themeforest.net. Run over there, and you can check out some pretty cool themes for um, for WordPress. They've got all sorts of stuff. The link I give you actually takes you directly to their WordPress e-commerce portion. So you can just thumb through here and check out all the different options and all of these have different variations. Some of them are responsive, some of them are not. Some of them have certain payment gateways that they allow for them, some of them do not. Some of them have certain widgets that you might need in that features list that you've made. Uh, so pay attention to all that. Also, pay attention to the reviews that these are given. See how many times it's been sold and see what people are saying about the product themselves because sometimes it can get really tricky purchasing one of these and you think, 55 bucks, sweet. I can use this theme, 55 bucks, I'm up and running. I'm throwing some products online. Now I'm a millionaire. It doesn't always work that way. Uh, some of these themes can be very tricky to uh, customize and set up. So what we recommend is you having... Um, purchased a theme or find a free theme that has incredible documentation behind it. And we've done a little bit of homework for you and figured out that um, this particular theme right here, Flatsome from Theme Forest, uh, is, is pretty fantastic. It's got great reviews as they come down through here. He's sold it over almost, almost 7,000 times. This particular author has sold this theme. Got a lot of comments. Um, also mentions right here that they have amazing support through this. So if you have a question about this particular theme, you're able to come over here, email their team, and get that support and that interaction, those answers pretty quickly. The buyer rating is five stars, which is pretty phenomenal, or 4.75 based on an average of 675. So really good. That, that's good. The other thing you want to pay attention to is over on the right side here, it begins to explain what compatibility it offers. So this theme is even good back for IE8, and that's old school. So you know that this author is taking his time to code to address all those issues that might be causing breaks or something in old browsers. Um, let's see what he also mentions, that it's responsive. So that's fantastic. So a little bit of homework for you on that. The other thing that we really loved about this particular theme is that he has a link for not only your support, right, that you can go and email and, and talk to them. They've got uh, a link, let's see if I can find it. It's gonna be scrolling down. Let's see, scroll down. They give you some really cool screenshots and options and all sorts of really good stuff that you can do. Ah, there it is, that, that's what I was looking for right here. This documentation link right here, it says online documentation. When you click there, it takes you over to uh, an entire website that he's got set up that literally has step-by-step -step instructions on how to install the theme, how to customize the theme, how to set up your widget areas, and the other great thing is as you scroll down through here, not only does he have um, animated instructions, but he also has some videos down here that you can watch that'll really just blow your mind and get you totally set up and running. I mean, it gives you a lot, a lot, a lot of options. So very, very cool tutorial, very good author, and apparently has incredible support. So we're all about this theme, uh, and that that's the one that we'd suggest you kind of jumping into, if, you, if, you, if that's in your budget, uh, install that theme, 
And that's kind of what we're going to walk through right now. So a few things that I mentioned here as you begin to set up your WordPress website, okay? So now that you've selected and installed your e-commerce WordPress theme, now I'm assuming that you've gone and purchased it or gone and gotten you a free theme, plugged it in. And again, we are looking at WooCommerce, okay? So there are other plugins for e-commerce, but we're, we're looking specifically at WooCommerce. Um, what you want to do is set up your store options, giving attention to the shopping cart pages, uh, the size units, the shipping options, the gateway, the payment gateway, and how you'll calculate tax. So you need to think about that. Most of the time, tax, if it's being purchased in the state that you're selling, you have to charge tax. If it's being purchased outside that state, it doesn't require it. But be sure to check with your own uh, state and, and local city tax people to figure out, okay, what do I need to do for an online store, okay? You also want to take time to create a flow chart for your website's navigation. Uh, what a flow chart is, some, some, some people call it a site map, but you want to list out how you want your pages to look and maybe if you have drop downs. You also want to think about what sort of product categories you might want and if you want cat category photos for those uh, particular pages or areas. And then you also want to be able to get ready to add all your products, their photos, and all the details, all the homework that you did in the past. Now, now you're ready to plug all those details in. Sometimes you can do that with a uh, CSV file. Do a quick uh, upload from uh, basically an Excel spreadsheet that you've turned into a CSV file. You can do a one-click install. Um, there are tutorials online for that. Just Google it. You'll find it. And then you also are going to need to set up your secure server license and be sure that your website is now pointed to an HTTPS, which means that you're on a secure server. So that's definitely a step that you've got to do. And then you also want to remember that inside of WooCommerce, it gives you the option to set up all of your auto responders. So you'll be able to go in there and as soon as somebody makes a purchase, your system will automatically shoot them a, thanks for shopping with us, check us out on Facebook, and you know whatever you want that, that thank you to be. And if you, if you continue to set up those autoresponders, once you change the status of a product from being purchased to being under shipping, the system again will shoot out another email to your customer and say, hey, your product's been shipped. Here's the tracking number. All right. Um, just really cool options like that inside of WooCommerce that are just out of the box for free to use. Um, another step that people just totally space out and think, okay, I've got the website up and running. Great. It looks awesome. They themselves never purchase a product from their own website. We highly suggest that you take just a minute and actually go in and purchase a product on your website. You put in your credit card information, make sure that everything works smoothly, purchase a product, follow this process from the beginning all the way to the very end of that thank you page and be sure that it's seamless and that a customer is going to have that type of experience. Uh, we also want to mention the fact that some people forget inside of your website that you need to have a little bit of legalese. You need to have a couple of pages uh, that Google recommends as well. You have to have a privacy policy page if you're collecting information. You have to have uh, a terms of use page um, on your website. You also probably need to throw a site map uh, at the bottom. And don't forget about your returns policy. So even if it's we don't accept any returns, you need to put that on a page somewhere and it needs to say that on your website. So the last part of this video, I just kind of want to mention to you really quickly, since I since I kind of preceded all this with WordPress only really being good if you're looking at maybe 25, 30 products maxing out, what would be a good solution for you guys if you're going above and beyond that for e-commerce? Maybe you have 50 products or 150 or 2,000 products. What, what sort of CMS would, would I recommend? Well, I've listed here in the blog article that uh, Magento obviously is probably one of the oldest and, and still yet the industry leaders when it comes to e-commerce. I've given you the link there to check out. And uh, Big Commerce is another pretty decent one, but it, uh, on, on, on that particular platform, if you ever decide you don't want to use them anymore, you lose everything you've invested with them. So that's kind of a bummer. And I think they might also take a percentage of your sales, so be a little cautious of that one. Shopify is another good solution. They're pretty comparable though, I think, to WordPress. Um, and they might take a percentage as well. You'd have to do your homework on all that and see, but those are other options out there other than WordPress that could potentially uh, easily handle, you know, 50, 500, 2,000 or more products. If you're going beyond that, you might want to look at just doing a full out custom solution and hiring a, a development company that has wonderful experience with e-commerce. Be sure you don't hire somebody who just says, oh, sure, I can build that. Ask them to show you a website that they've actually produced that has uh, that type of depth and involved features that you're looking uh, to, to have on your website. 
And one more thing I have to say before I go is, if you actually want me to walk through what it looks like to install uh, WooCommerce and actually build uh, how to add products and how to add categories and actually do maybe a series of tutorials on e-commerce solutions, uh, on WooCommerce specifically, will you please tweet us or put a comment in the, in the video comment box. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. I just need to know that you want that done. If we get enough interest in it, we'll definitely take time and piece together a series of how-tos with WooCommerce. Okay, so I know that was a lot to take in and, and we went through a lot. Please be sure to check out our blog because I literally detail these things out in writing for you. I give you some of the links that are gonna be seriously important for you to double check and go through. Be sure to make that list out as you, as you start this whole project because you really need to understand what sort of features you want on your website. So next week, I'm super excited to say that we're gonna have WordPress Dev Solutions here, WordPress Dev dot Solutions. Um, Wayne is gonna be coming in and talking to us about how to make your YouTube videos on your website responsive with just a little bit of code that you can add to your WordPress website. He's written it all up. Your mind's gonna be blown on how simple it is and it's gonna be something you absolutely wanna plug in your website. So be sure to check us out next week. And I've got some links below in the description area that you can check out. And if you're in the San Antonio area, be sure to connect with us for our meetup group because we've got all sorts of things going on every single week. And last but not least, be sure to send us your questions over on Twitter or comment here in, at the YouTube video. We'd love to help you out, answer any questions you have about WordPress. We'll see you next week.